So uh, welcome to the Como Poignyamu, Phuket, Thailand. I'm here at the entrance to the hotel. As you can see, there is the sign. And here is the actual entrance. So the Como Poignyamu is located in uh, Cape in Phuket, pretty close to the airport, about 25, 30 minutes. And as you can see, it's set in a more residential area. I believe if you go down there, it's a bunch of houses that you could buy and they're very nice. A lot of them are actually still under construction. And here, if you have a villa at the hotel or at the resort, you'll be staying in one of these through this gate right here. But because I'm not in a villa, I'm in a Panga pool suite today, or on this day, I will not be walking through here. But actually, while I'm down here, let's just go on a walk real quick. Uh, we'll see this area of the resort for the first time together. So yeah, in the distance over there, in one of those buildings, you can see a pool suite. I think one of those rooms is my room. But here are more of the villas. And the ocean is literally right there. Unfortunately, the Como Poignamu does not have a beach. Um, they used to have a beach club on a separate island that you could take a shuttle boat to before the pandemic, but uh, that closed. Maybe they sold it off or something, I'm not too sure. Uh, so they don't have a beach. Um, it's one of the biggest downsides to this hotel, among others that I can name. So let's make our way to the lobby. And I'm going to speed this up for you so you don't have to watch me walk up this hill. All right, so here we are at the top of that driveway. If I turn around here, that is the lobby. So let's make our way to the lobby. As you can see, the hotel's palette is a little bit more muted and neutral with whites and grays, bluish tint of gray, basically dotting the entire hotel. Sometimes you do see like a splash of color now and then, but this is basically the entire color palette of the hotel right here. So, we go into the lobby, climb up these stairs. You have this nice, I'm sure this has some sort of cultural significance, but forgive me, I do not know what it is. It's beautiful though, I like it. These things are normally lit up, but I guess since I'm out here so early in the morning, they are not. And these funky looking couches is where you'll be checked into the hotel. No desks here. Well, I guess there technically is one over there, but I haven't been there yet. So yeah, they'll give you some uh, drink and check you into the hotel. Meanwhile, you could be looking at this nice water feature, this really cool looking bench. And then if you go down here, you can see that sign. A bunch of the other Como hotels. There's one in Ubud, Bali. Um, Uma, Uma Kangu in Bali too. There's two of them in Bali. Metropolitan London. Como Poignamo obviously here. Metropolitan Bangkok. So, and then over here, you'll see this extends out into the water. It's a nice view, really nice. Nice first impression of the hotel too, gotta say. Although I do have to confess I'm not the biggest fan of the color scheme of this hotel. But anyway, moving on. Um, so to the right is where my room is and that's a little area I'll show you later. But let's make our way to the left of the resort, which is, or I guess, right from the driveway my left, which is where most everything is. 
morning. So here is the little hallway to the pool, the two restaurants, and the gym, and the sauna, and the spa. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's just flanked by water all around. And uh, the receptionist was telling me on my check-in day that this area, normally they have a buffet, a dinner buffet here. Obviously, this is a cart where they have food, and then they have seating on the lawn over there at night. So I'd imagine it's quite nice. It's cool. You can see the ocean. Well, at least I hope it's cool. Anyway, lots of gaps. So if you do have a wheelchair, this might be a little issue for you in terms of mobility to get to the more uh, scenic areas. But if you're just going to the restaurant and the pool and all that stuff, you should be fine. So yeah, here is a gift shop, which is not yet open. But they have typical overpriced clothing, bags and everything that I normally wouldn't buy and people wouldn't buy, but because they're on vacation, the propensity to spend money is higher. Anyway, here is uh, another nice walking area that you will have trouble with if you are on a wheelchair. But that leads to the pool, but I'm gonna take you in this way because there's other stuff I'd like to show you guys. Okay. So this is like a lounge, I guess. And the door's open right now. There's no AC, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to be in here. Kind of creepy, actually. Anyway, moving on. This looks pretty uh, empty, but it's actually where all the main pools are. I have no idea what's through that door. So you go up to those stairs or the elevator to get to the spa and the gym, the steam room and the sauna and all that stuff. But let me show you. Oh, it's closed. No, nope, whatever, I can sneak through. I'll show you the main pool area. So to the right, La Serena breakfast, which I'll show you too. And then to the left, a pretty good Thai restaurant. Portions are small, prices are high, the flavors are good. i show you some pictures from my dining experience there. This is the Aqua Bar. Oh, I'm so sorry, everything is so dark because they close these blinds. But yeah, this is the Aqua Bar. Haven't had any drinks here, too hot. And the main pool area, which I believe is the main selling point of this resort. So you just take a look here. Stunning and it's pretty cloudy today, so it's not gonna look the best But it is absolutely stunning out here That third tier pool. Okay, so let me just explain this is a children's pool It basically goes up to your shit Maybe a little higher than that, but it's pretty impossible for anyone to drown here this is the more shallow pool I think it goes up to your knees and then the far one over there behind the man who's sweeping is uh, the actual pool that uh, goes up to your um, boob level and I'm 5'9", so use that information as you will. 175 centimeters. Anyway, this is the view you get from the pool deck. Pretty magnificent. See those islands over there? And they'll uh, kind of like the ones poking out of the water. We were there yesterday. It's beautiful. Although it was raining. And down there is where the villas are. But down here is where those uh, estates that you could buy uh, that I was talking about earlier are. I'm not sure how much money they are, but they are pretty nice. So over there you can see the open air breakfast. And that leads me to my... Another complaint I have of this hotel, the only restaurant that's air conditioned is that one. That one is never air conditioned and it doesn't matter how hot it gets. I don't even think they have air conditioned in the actual building. So you'll be steaming while eating, always. Doesn't matter how hot it gets. So 
That's a huge gripe I have. Need air conditioning in this part of the world. Especially for a five-star hotel, come on now. Anyway, this main pool right here, this is my personal favorite. It does go over the edge of the hotel, so it's like an infinity edge pool. And let me show you the view you get when you're chilling at the very end. <coughs> Excuse me. See, it's uh, quite nice too over there. By the way, uh, you could read more about uh, this hotel on my blog, but my overall impressions, if you haven't been able to tell, aren't exactly the most positive. Unfortunately, I don't think this place deserves five-star rating, but I'll go into that in the blog post in my review. So please check it out in the description below. Anyway, let me show you uh, what else. Uh, I'll show you the spa later on today when it's open. I'll show you um, the breakfast when it opens. Let me show you the area leading into our room. It's actually quite nice. I'll skip over to that right now. And I almost forgot. So this is the breakfast restaurant. That's where we were out there. There's a really nice area to take pictures, which I personally did over here. It's a bit dirty right now because there was a storm last night and I believe they're still cleaning it up. Good morning. But this area is stunning. There's leaves in the water, normally there aren't. There are leaves on the ground, normally there aren't. Give them a few hours and I'm sure they'll have it cleaned up. But this water right here with the distance or the view in the distance, great place to take a picture over here. Yeah, look at that. It's quite nice, yeah. All right, anyway, okay, now I'm going back to that spot I was talking about. Peace. Yeah, so I'm back here in the lobby, and uh, this is the little area I was talking about earlier. And uh, it's literally just a lounge. And I'm mentioning this area specifically because it is the only air-conditioned area in the entire resort, besides your room, of course, that you could just relax in. And I believe they have some yoga class here in the morning. I haven't done that yet. But yeah, this is literally the only place in the entire resort that's air conditioned besides your room. So that's pretty funny and kind of sad. Anyway, here is the walk to my room. And then I'll clip the, or attach the video of my room tour, either down below or just directly after this clip of me arriving on my first day with my first impressions. Anyway, yeah, even these hallways, not air conditioned. So take that as a valuable piece of information. Personally, I don't think I'd come back just because of some flaws such as the mediocre breakfast, terrible air conditioning situation, service isn't the most polished, but overall, it's a serviceable resort. I mean, um, still had a good time with my friends. And then there are occasionally these stunning areas like this walkway to our pool suite. It's quite nice. The water flanking you and at night these lights are lit. But yeah, anyway, that is the resort. I'll attach the spa but and the breakfast, but that's basically it. Como Poinyamu, Phuket, Thailand. Thank you very much for watching. All right, so we just got into the Como Poinyamu in our uh, Panga Pool Suite, room 207. So as you come in, have the air condition controls on the right of the door. You have a half bath that just has a toilet. And how do you turn the lights on here? Uh, there you go. So it has a toilet and a sink. The entire room is covered in this weird, like aquamarine tile. It's not my first choice, but it's all right. Como Shambhala bath products. This is a cool little sink though. And as you move on, you have these hands for some reason. Um, don't know what the significance of that is, but it's nice art. I guess. And they have a couch 
where we put our stuff and a welcome cake. It's quite big too. And then you have a coffee table slash little side table here that they probably moved for this extra bed. Then over here you have a TV. It's pretty small for the size of the room, I think. And then an area to put just random stuff. You got mass, got cables for the TV, some stationery, more stationery. There's a QR code for all the hotel services. And then some sort of um, interface for the TV and the rest of the audio stuff in the room. And over here, I have no idea what this does. I'll figure it out and let you guys know later. More switches, even more switches, which are oddly yellow. And then here's the main bedroom. It's a king bed uh, with the two reading lights and another Samsung same size TV on the wall here. I'm assuming you could slide this out. Yep, pretty easy to do so as well. And coming over here, you have a body length mirror next to little storage area where you, where we have all our bags. They gave this these cute slippers that you could take home, flip-flops I mean. Bathrobes, hangers, um, laundry service, and then the rest of these drawers. They got a safe here, pretty big. And then this huge bathtub in the middle of the bathroom, main bathroom that is, more of these blue tiles. Two sinks, bath towels, more bath towels, which is great. And then a shower with a massive rainfall shower head. Huge. More of these Como Shambhala, which is the spa here, um, amenities. And what is this? Shampoo, why don't they put that here? Interesting. Anyway, here's the toilet. Cool. Oh, this thing is closed on me. And then obviously the reason why I paid a lot of money for this room, the private pool facing the Panga Islands. Okay, there you go. It's pretty nice out here. You can just vibe and then Take a dip when you want to and admire the beautiful water in the distance. It's quite nice. All right, that's it for the room tour, guys. Thank you for watching. And obviously you could go in the living room from out here too. Thanks. So the buffet on the first day is pretty standard stuff. We got some cheese, salami, ham, and then we have beetroot cured kingfish, watermelon. Uh, I forgot what this is called. Papaya, dragon fruit, and pineapple. Mixed fruit, some salad items, the dressings for the salad, some chia seeds, muesli, salmon, granola, honey, pizza. This stuff that I never actually eat. Plain yogurt, poached mongan, exotic fruit salad, um, some water, cups, juices. Yes, I'll take one of these later. Coconuts, orange juice, 
watermelon juice, some fresh butter, jams, some cool interesting jams here. Probably this is the most notable one. And breads. Obviously all of this is while we have this fantastic view. The entire restaurant's open air though, so it does get a little hot. Especially when there's no breeze. But you get this fantastic view. And let me show you the a la carte menu. Let's go back in and look at the a la carte menu. This is the a la carte menu. You can order one thing from each side. I'll attach a picture as well. But yeah, that's about it here. Como ponyamo. Phuket, Thailand. Breakfast.